The subject of tonight's video is based on a thing. Can you guess what it is? Yep, it's six meters, also known as the magic band. Now, what makes it so magical? One of the reasons is sporadic E. This is an unusual form of radio propagation because it uses characteristics of the Earth's ionosphere. Most propagation is dictated by the ionospheres of the F region plus normal cyclical propagation. What sporadic E does is bounce signals off smaller clouds, as they're called, of ionized atmospheric gas in the lower E region. Now these clouds are only about 55 to 100 miles up, which makes these openings very interesting. You could work a guy in New Mexico and not hear the guy next door in Texas. Or with a double hop, you could work the world. Jerry just did his 122nd country on six meters. So it, it's a pretty interesting band for all around. The other interesting thing, six meters is available to extras, generals, and technicians, as well as any advanced classes still out there. Uh, there is a section reserved for the DX to call CQ, and that's 50.110 through 50.120. Uh, but you can call CQ anywhere above that on phone. For best DXing, you're going to want a horizontally polarized antenna. Now, Jerry and I just ordered this very antenna and hope to have it up soon, but you don't need anything as extravagant as that. You can get this 6-meter antenna. DX Engineering has it for less than $130 by Comet. Also, for you home brewers out there, you're going to want to remember this website because he has links to all kinds of homebrew projects from amplifiers and radios to antennas for every band. Plus, June and July is the best time of year spor for sporadic E. So you know what that means? That means it's the perfect thing to have at your field day. And guess what? It's a free station. And what do I mean by free? Well, at field day, if you're a class A entry, you can have that free go to station, but you can also have another free station if it's 50 megahertz or up. And the next reason it's so magical, you never know when it's going to come and how long it's going to last. So I'm going to demonstrate for you some of the magic or mystery of six meters in an hour and a half period. I'm going to show you what the bands look like today, Sunday, June 21st, which is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. And the first day of summer, and it's 1800 UTC. And as you can see, there's some signals down in CW or the digital portion, but not a lot going on up here on sideband. But on six meters, that can change. Okay, now here's what it looks like at 1830 UTC. So just a half hour later. Now, on sideband, 50.110 through 50.120 is the DX calling frequency. Signals higher up. Let's go check this one out. It's um, dipole's working good. Uh, you should be able to make contacts today. Dan has been open. Uh, East Coast guy has been working Europe, which is, I think, the first. And um, I'm hearing stuff off the back, uh, California, Washington, Oregon. And uh, I'm hearing the XC2 beacon in here. It's uh, down around 50.015 or something like that. Anyway, it's here now. But uh, anyway, this is the kind of conditions that you can work out even with the dipole. Okay, here it is now, 1930 UTC. And look at the bands now. The pool would be down to view. The salt face side of the beaches down there in North Carolina for sure. I have, uh, I have, uh, in New Hampshire. <laughs> Okay, I got the Echo Mike 87. Okay, QSL, thanks for the call. And enjoy the opening. Whiskey Alpha 1 Zulu. Okay, we're open to one land from nine land. So an hour ago, we were open to Colorado. Now we're open to the East Coast. Why else is six meters so magical? Because F2, transequatorial, tropospheric, scatter, and meteor scatter propagation also all exist on six meters. Now what F2 is, it's... The, that layer can also propagate VHF signals several thousands of miles. This F2 layer is the highest reflecting layer at the very top of that on your screen there, about 200 miles up. 
Now when sunspot activity is high, the F2 layer can become intensely ionized due to radiation from the sun. And this is where you can work some of your best DX. Transequatorial propagation, also known as TEP for 6 meters, occurs during late afternoon and early evening over a maximum distance of about 3,700 miles. What happens, they believe, is a high electron concentration is found on each side of the magnetic equator, usually between 10 to 20 degrees latitude. Tropospheric ducting is where propagated signals travel in part of the atmosphere in a warm, high pressure system. This is most prevalent during the summer and fall month. Now scatter is where your radio signal will intersect with another radio signal and where they intersect usually only about six miles up is where you have scatter and you can work each other now with meteor scatter you're bouncing off the ionized trail left behind the meteor if you ever hear that guy out there for like two seconds as clear as can be and then he's gone you're both working off the same ionized trail of the meteor and for those of you who really like a challenge there's also moon bounce on six meters so get out play on six meters and you'll understand why they call it the magic band